It is uh, time for more night work, and I'm feeling um, very calm and tranquil as the evening begins to uh, unfold, and I feel enveloped by the night. And uh, at the same time, I feel the lightness of the night, the luminosity of the night, and that brings me to a uh, an important remembrance of one of my most powerful experiences where I felt touched by an angel and how beautiful I felt and how much I felt the presence of light. And I've had to meditate on that for a long time. And that act of meditation on it, the re-engaging of that experience is very important. And it's a a good lesson for me, and I hope one that will head your way, to continue to meditate on these powerful events in our lives. They cannot be understood in just one quick uh, reflection. They bear uh, meditation over long periods of time, as different aspects of those events make themselves known. And the experience of light in that moment and in my now newest remembrance, my newest understanding, is a powerful one because it reminds me that I am a child of light. And uh, there's an article I just read, which unfortunately I cannot quote because I'd, I lost the darn thing and couldn't find it again. But it was a scientific article which was about light and the understanding of how much light is there and how much light can be understood and how much light is still left after you've counted all the light you can count. It was a good article. It was kind of fun. It was one of those Internet articles that's been uh, pretty well condensed, so it was a synopsis. But the point of the article is, is that they measured every bit of light they could figure out, every little photon of light they could calculate they did. And after all that calculation... They realized that the amount of light that was known did not equal the amount of light that was there. So another way to say it is the amount of measurable light was not equal to the amount of light that could be perceived. 50% of all the light that could be measured was not enough. Let me say that again. 100% of all the measured light was not nearly enough to account for all the light that there is. There's just a lot of light out there, and the universe is essentially light. And we are children of light, and light is what enlivens us. So matter was activated by light. It was light that brought forth life. And I I like that idea. I like it a lot. So being a child of light is also a child of um, the experience of light as life. So my angel experience was an experience of light and also of life, a connection to life that was light. And I find that to be extremely powerful. It was just an interesting way to to think about that. And, And now, as I am older, it's more clear that it's not what you know, it's your experience. And how can you experience the knowledge of light beyond the experience of light? You know, you can talk about stuff and you can read about it, but it's the experience that makes all the difference. And the experience of being loved and feeling love was so powerful. I mean, it has stayed with me my whole life. It is essentially the reason for this podcast. So I'm feeling strongly about my connection with light. And it makes more sense. It's, uh, it makes more sense in the understanding of the construction of the universe as a construction of light, of light beings, that the divine hierarchy is a hierarchy of light beings. The spectrums are not necessarily understood. To a degree, it is an invisible light. It's an invisible presence, but it nevertheless shines. It shines very brightly. And I think that's the the goal of me 
and my meditation and my reflection is to join in that hierarchy of light, to join in the beings of the hierarchy of the divine that are beings of light. And so I, I, re I relish that because it, it means that it's not about something that can be intellectually understood. It's not a rational paradigm. Rational bias is not going to help you figure that out. It's not going to be easy to understand in an intellectual way that you're a being of light and the experience you have in the divine hierarchy is a feeling of being in the light. So that's a little bit of a contradiction there, it seems like, but it's not at all. It's a feeling of being in the light. And that experience is priceless. It's, it's what it's all about. So the rational mind is not going to be able to do much with that. But to continue to pursue and persist and long for and yearn for that connection of light, that feeling of life that is in us, that comes from light, is what it's all about. And it, it's poetry. It really is. And you can understand that as we understand our return to light. So when the asteroids hit, <laughs> we are, you know, turned into dust. Well, it's not matter that we're going to be turned into. It's going to be light. We are going to be returning to our essence, which is light. The fact of the matter around us is not going to be that important. As Yeshua says in... Uh, the Gospel of Thomas. The universe is a corpse. What is alive is the light. That's where we find our connection, the connection of light. Amen.